Today, I am specifically on the hunt for the longest lasting lip product for the wedding. The gags that I have gagged at an orthodontist while making different retainer molds. So Jeremy went literally missing for 48 hours this past weekend. Wow, the DIYs paid off. Wow! Welcome back to the vlog. I had a slightly traumatizing morning this morning. <laughs> Did I talk about this on the vlog or the podcast? I can't remember. No, I think it was the podcast because I feel like a lot of people chimed in and gave some advice about how our teeth do in fact continue to move even if I'm 30. So I had mentioned that I had a loose bond on one edge of the permanent wire retainer that is behind my bottom four and top four front teeth. Didn't end up getting that fixed last week. I went to the dentist, totally forgot about it, came home because I had like gotten my teeth whitened, whatever, I totally forgot about it. Today I'm eating a chopped apple. Like I literally haven't bit into an apple or like bitten into a cob of corn because I've just had these wires behind my teeth since I was 14. And so I have forgotten the joy of eating corn on the cob. I have to sit there like a loser with a knife and slice it all off side by side. It is not cute. And so anyways, I bit into a piece of like a freaking sliced up apple and I broke the entire top wire off of my top four teeth. It was dangling by the tiniest corner. And so I like pulled it down and it just popped right off. So now I've got these four wildly abrasive little cement nubbies on the back of the hard teeth. And I just didn't even know that that could happen. The way that these have been on my teeth since I was 14, and I've had little pieces of the bond break off. So anyways, I posted a photo of it on Instagram, which I will pop on the screen, and I fear that I have unlocked a new fear within many of you who have the permanent retainer. I mean, there was no world where I could have swallowed it. Like I bit and immediately I was like, uh-oh. And I felt that same uh-oh before, but this is an uh-oh on a whole new level because now it is in the trash. And so anyways, I think that this is my sign to go and just get the bond, like the little cement nubbies just fully taken off and just get a like plastic retainer to wear at night. I clench my teeth anyway. So this is probably my sign to just like get the bottom one fixed, get a mold made for the retainer and be done with the wire portion on the top teeth. What I will say is that the amount of retainer making trauma that I have, like if you've ever seen this tray of pink goo before, you know the pain and the PTSD that exists from it. The gags that I have gagged at an orthodontist while making different retainer molds, oh my fucking god, I am literally dreading it. Anyways, I got an appointment for next week, so I'll be fine. Like, nothing hurts, it's just super uncomfortable and I feel like I'm like cutting my tongue every time. I like swipe my tongue across my teeth. And also, I've had this thing on my teeth since I was 14, so it's literally been six years. So my mouth is feeling weird, I'm having teeth trauma, and I am dreading having to put that goo in my teeth. If you are a dentist or a dental hygienist and things have potentially gotten more progressive in the retainer mold making process, please let me know. I literally watched a video this morning on how to reduce gagging when you have to shove all that goo in your teeth, like sitting up, leaning forward so it doesn't like drip down your throat. Anyways, I think it's gonna be awful and I'm dreading it, but I figured that like while I'm in a high stress state pre-wedding, I should just knock out everything while <laughs> and also I want it to be done. I like don't want to be dreading it for like post wedding. So I'm just gonna get it done and just knock it off the to-do list. Anyways, not stoked about that happening this morning. Not my favorite. The last thing I was eating when I broke off the bottom wire was broccoli. So what I'm hearing from all of this is that produce is out and soft foods like noodles are in is what I'm gathering. So anyways, that was my traumatic morning. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I picked up my wedding dresses a couple days ago. Oh my god, I literally just cannot believe they're in the house. I'm about to film a little TikTok of all of the things in my emergency kit. You guys left me some incredible suggestions. What were some of the main things? Oh, I got a massive brick of little mini Kleenex packages. 
spray deodorant. Oh, moleskin padding someone suggested for blisters that are better. I've got double-sided booby tape. This is a great, great brand. One of the things that I got that Maggie recommended to me that I've seen just like on Amazon, um, I didn't see it in the comments from the last video, but our veil weights, like the technology, this is the future. So TBD on how windy our wedding day is gonna be, but these are little weighted guys. You can have them just like at the very bottom of your train to help keep your train in place so it's not blowing in your freaking face. What a motherfucking wonderful idea. Slay. So yeah, gonna get that out of the way, but yeah, literally look at my desk right now. It's just absolute chaos with bridal things. I've also just, like the, the DIY room is in chaos right now. Just as like the bridal staging room, the wedding staging room for just all of the shit to live. And it is absolute chaos. And my teeth feel so weird. I can't get over it. Oh, my mouth feels awful. Awful, awful, awful. So this is what I mean by the DIY room has turned into full bridal chaos. We've got the two dresses there. I literally cannot believe they're in the house. And then this is the ram all of the bridal shit into this woven bucket so that it does not have to be neatly packed. I got a few options for fuzzy day of slippers as to not have any like sock marks around your ankles. I have made that mistake so many times on set and will not be doing that uh, on wedding day. We've also got this custom hanger that says best day ever. There's some cute little pearlies here. And then I have this fabric hanger. I've got the date um, also embroidered on this side. So my hand is covering, but this side also just has L and J embroidered into it. And very, very cute. So I've got two hangers for two dresses. And then you guys have seen all of this stuff already. I also ordered like a just white little bolero. Is that what it's called? Like the fur shawl thing that you wrap around your shoulders? I don't know. It's been getting a little bit cool. So I don't know. We're still, you know, like it's not, it's not time yet, but just in case I have it on deck and I have the receipt so I can still return it if I don't end up needing it. I mean, there is no space for a DIY to be filmed in this room right now. This room has been fully taken over as the bride cave. Also, oh my God, this might be the cutest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. The cake toppers are definitely up there as two of the cutest things I've ever seen in my life. This might beat it. The dogs are the ring bearers. I've already told you that. And I got this made on Etsy. It will be attached to the dog's harness or leash, whatever makes the most sense day of. And it's made for the ring bearers if your ring bearer happens to be a pup. So on top, I've got L heart J. And then you open this little flap and it says delivered with love, Moose and Diggy. Why could I literally cry reading that? Oh my god. The rings obviously like go into the slots here. I'm a little nervous if I'm being honest because like this kind of just flaps open. So I'm like, is this a little risky? Are we gonna regret this when the rings end up in a bush somewhere? So we'll see. We're gonna keep the environment incredibly controlled as in like the rings won't go into this until the moment they're literally about to go walk down the aisle. So they'll have to just literally make it 25 feet and we'll be supervised by a hundred people. So hopefully we don't have any mishaps because that would be tragic, but this is possibly, I don't know why of everything, this has made me almost cry the most. I'm not entirely sure. Anyways, that's that. This is adorable. I'm obsessed. I will leave a link to the Etsy seller, but I do want to say that I am not taking any liability or responsibility if anything happens to your rings, if you do purchase this and they fall out of here because I cannot vouch for the safety of the rings, of even my rings yet. So just keep that in mind, okay? <laughs> Thank you. Wait, also, so I'm upstairs right now. Jeremy is scheming something. He's scheming something. He's in his office downstairs and he can't hear me. And I think this will go up before the wedding. No, this will definitely go up before the wedding, but he doesn't even watch the vlog, so we're fine. Jeremy is scheming something, and I don't know what the fuck it is, and it's making me nervous. My planner knows about it. My mom is also acting a little sus every time I bring it up around her. So Jeremy went literally missing for 48 hours this past weekend. Friday night, we were laying in bed, and so it was like 2 a.m., so creeping into Saturday, and he was like, I have to go for two days. I was like, I'm sorry, what the fuck do you mean you have to go for two days? Like we are planning a wedding, good sir. And he's like, yeah, I have to go for two days. My flight's in like eight hours. One, we knowingly booked tickets to Drag the Musical, which was incredible, by the way. Would highly recommend to go see it if you get the chance. It's like one, we have tickets to a musical tonight with friends and you knew about this. And two, what the fuck? 
to what the fuck? Where are you going? And good Sir Jeremy had also just taken a very large edible. And so he answered yes to a few of the questions that he should not have answered yes to. For example, are you staying within California is what I had asked. Mr. Post Edible Eaton Jeremy said, yes, I'm staying within California. He was not in California. I don't know where the fuck he was. I don't know where he was. I don't know what he was doing. I know it's wedding related. He told me on the podcast a few months ago that he's been scheming something. If you remember, I do not know what the scheme is. Nothing has developed until this weekend about the scheming. Obviously he turned off his location on Fine Friends. So I was not able to track him because like, duh, that would be like the biggest rookie mistake of his life. And I don't know what the scheme is. And I have no idea. I, I, I just, I can't even, I can't even form a thought as to what the scheme might be. So here's what we know. One, he got on a flight for 48 hours across the country. I think he stayed in America, but across the country because his flight times were giving East Coast in terms of like when he was leaving for the airport because he talked on the phone once. He was somewhere across the country and I'm trying to figure out what kind of activity or meeting or rehearsal he would have to be physically present for that you couldn't just do via text or FaceTime or a call or Zoom. Like what the fuck could it be that you have to be there in person because he has a suit, he has his shoes, like he's totally measured. So I'm like, okay, it's not anything clothing related. I think it's entertainment related. Something in my gut, in my gut says it's entertainment related because he also at some point on the podcast and you guys might remember this more than I do, but on the podcast, he said, if he can lock down this like performance of some kind, maybe I'm making that up, but I think it's something performance related. He was like, it's gonna be really, really fucking cool. But like, I don't know if I can, I'm able to do it. And that was a few months ago. The way that I have never seen this man perform, we know that he can sing. If you've done the deep dive on Jeremy, you know that he can sing really incredibly well, but I've never seen him perform live. What if, I don't even wanna speak it. I don't wanna put it out into the world, but like, what if, I am ill. I am losing my goddamn mind. So anyways, he's scheming. He went MIA for 48 hours. I don't know what he was doing. I don't know who he was with. I don't know where he was sleeping. I don't know what he was eating. And that is all I know. <laughs> so anyways, please spiral with me. Please spiral with me and give me your best guesses because I am in fact spiraling. And I cannot wait for all of us to basically find out at the same time what the fuck is going on. Oh. <sighs> He's scheming. God, my teeth feel awful. Just absolutely awful. And not even the scheme can take my mind off of it. Hello, hey guys. Oh fuck, I still have gone in my mouth. So sorry. Let me just, let me just rip. Oh, should I stick it to a tooth? Hang on. You know what I should do is stick it to the like bumpy parts on the back of my teeth. Okay, okay, oh, we're good. Oh God, it's fine. <laughs> Hello, I just pulled into the parking lot of Sephora. Today, I am specifically on the hunt for the longest lasting lip product for the wedding. Oh, fuck, I just fell. So sorry. I'm I apologize. I know everyone hates this. I'm so sorry. I feel like there's not a wedding lip product go-to. I feel like I'm on wedding talk on every social platform. I guess it's not a talk on every social platform, but I consume so much wedding content and there isn't a go-to long lasting stay for multiple hours and not smudge all over your significant other when you smooch them. And so I'm like, oh, how do I have a lip product on? That's not going to end up all over Jeremy because you're going to be taking so many kissing photos. I don't want to cover him in lip products. So I've landed myself in quite the predicament. It's not actually a predicament. Like I am in a great place right now with planning where this is my priority of the day. I also, you know what? If I stick this, you know, I'm gonna stick it to the top of the camera. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. <laughs> You know what? It ended up being okay, but I, I booked this DIY studio day with Kelsey today and we're going downtown to the Arts District. It's called Pinku DIY Studio, I'm pretty sure. It's so much fun. I'm so excited. I've seen it all over TikTok and we made this appointment so long ago and I didn't realize that I would potentially need today for like wedding spiraling, but I think today is actually a great day to like take my mind off of things. Planning is going really well. I'm in a great place. Again, I'm looking for lip products. They're going to stay a long time. So I'm in a great spot a 
great mindset aside from my teeth catastrophe, which is just worsening by the day. So that's the plan for today. So I'm gonna pop into Sephora. Here's what I've got. I posted a question on Instagram stories and also texted my makeup artist. And so here are the products that I am on the hunt for today. The Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lip, the Fenty Liquid Lip, the Stila Liquid Lip, a Pat McGrath lip product because I feel like anything Pat McGrath makes is incredible. She's Strong by Patrick Ta, which I think is actually a liner. And then the NYX Shine Loud and the Maybelline Superstay Vinyl Ink. My only issue with long lasting lip products is that I don't love anything matte, but I'm not opposed to doing something matte that's gonna stay a really long time and reapplying gloss. Because if it's just a clear gloss, like Jeremy will survive if there's clear gloss. You know what, he probably needs a little gloss. Like it's, it's gonna be fine, he'll be fine. So I think that this might be the path that I may take. Would it be disgusting to take the gum off my camera and put it back in my mouth? Okay, let's go get some lip products. Okay, home, that was um, mildly successful. I actually realized I'm an idiot and I have a couple colors of the Shine Loud NYX product. Went to two different CVSs, entirely sold out of the Maybelline product. I also saw a few comments that the, whatever the name of the Maybelline product that has lingerie in it was also recommended, but wasn't able to find any of those. That's like truly a testament to how good a product is, is like if it's just completely shelves empty. So anyways, I've got a couple colors of the NYX Shine Loud that I can do a little tester of. The back of my hand obviously looks as if I have just departed a Sephora because I have. And then here's what I got. Kat Von D not sold in Sephora anymore as of four days ago. I forgot to ask if it was just that location or all Sephora's entirely, but um, RIP to that collab. I guess not collab, but like seller of that brand. I brought my smallest, most banged up version of my mini lip liner, the Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tillsbury. Til Tills? Is there an S in there? I'm always throwing an S, but I don't know if there is. There is no S. Charlotte Tilbury. <laughs> Charlotte Tillsbury? I don't know where I got that S from. Anyways, it's not this one. It's one that's literally half the size of this. I brought it in the store because I feel like this is an accurate color representation of like what I'm looking for. It's kind of like a more brownie nude. And when I don't have any guide of color, I also swatched it on the back of my hand before I went in to try anything. And then I wanted like this visual here because I always get something that's like a little more pink than what I actually wear. And so I just feel like I needed it physically present, but then once I had walked into the store with it, I was like, oh my fucking God, if I go to put this back into my purse, I'm gonna get tackled to the ground because they're gonna think that I'm stealing something. And so then I was just so awkwardly walking around <laughs> trying to make it obvious that I had this really busted little mini version of this lip liner that I'd brought from home and I was literally the most awkward person. In I was trying to make it so obvious and I had the little Sephora bag of like things that I was buying, like the little netted bag they give you when you're shopping in the store. And then this is my other hand, trying to like be so clear that I was not trying to shoplift. And then even when I got to the register, I feel like I watched this out of someone else's eyes. And I was like, oh, I've never spoken to another human in my entire life because I am just need so much help. I stumbled through some semblance of a sentence that was like, oh, and I brought this like from home to do testers and swatches. So like, I just wanna let you know that I'm not stealing it as I like slipped it into my purse. Anyways, I didn't think the entire thing through, but I will say it was wildly helpful. <laughs> So not my finest and most socially gracious moment, but I did <laughs> get three products. So this is the Patrick Ta She's Strong. Love it, have heard great things about all the Patrick Ta products. And then I got the Fenty Velvet Liquid Lipstick. And then I also got a Maracuja Juicy Lip Cream, which I have a bunch of these as well. And now I'm like, wait, hang on. Did I fall for advertising? Because on, is this the one that, I wonder if this is the gold or the pink one? You know what? No, I don't have any of these ones. I think I have only gold or like I have this one and I have, a gold one somewhere. Okay, no, apparently I don't, apparently I don't. Okay, so anyways, this one, it, it said smear proof or something. There was some language that gave me the idea. It was like transfer proof. Anyways, it sold me in the store and I was like, oh wait, love how moisturizing these are. But now 
I'm like, wait a minute. I don't know. Okay. Anyways, I'm going to wipe all of these off and what I'm thinking so that we can just knock out trying multiple of these at the same time without having to like do one product a day is just apply it to the back of my hand. I'm like a pretty frequent hand washer and also I've got like long sleeves on today. I'm about to go to that DIY studio. So like my hands are going to be touching a ton of things and also the backs of my hands are crusty dusty right now and I would say that I have incredibly dry lips. So maybe this is like a skin representation of how dry my lips are. <laughs> Anyways, I figured that we could just see like what stands the test of going through a day. Oh, wow. I mean, already the two products that are staying on so well. Okay, so with some micellar water, maracuja, she's gone. She is long gone. I'm gonna label them properly so we can remember exactly which is which. I think that was the Fenty one. The one that's like really holding on, I think is uh, the Fenty liquid lipstick. And I just don't love a liquid lipstick. I feel like I have perpetually dry lips and I just don't know if I could heal my lips to the state of what they need to be for liquid lipsticks to dry down and not look just so dry. Okay, there we go. Clean slate. Okay, I need to make sure I remember the order that we do this in so I don't fuck it up and then the whole experiment is for nothing. Okay, here we go. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury with no S lip chi in iconic nude. Oh, this needs a sharpen desperately. So I've got two different liner options, this one and the Patrick Ta. So first liner line, two swipes, three swipes, Charlotte Tilbury no S. Patrick Ta. Oh wait. Oh, is this a clicky? It's a clicky. Ooh, it's like a very angular little rectangle at the end of this. She's a beauty guru. I feel like it's struggling. It's struggling. <laughs> okay, that feels nice. Patrick Ta, liner number two. Okay, this is Fenty in Truth Fairy 09. This packaging is quite nice. I think this might've been the one that was really hard to get off. Whoa, God, I'm just not a matte lipstick kind of bitch. Okay, oh, but that does look, that looks like it's not going anywhere. Damn, that is pigmented, holy shit. Okay, next, Maracuja. Oh, fuck, this is so sheer. See, like, okay, would Jeremy even be mad if we just got a little bit of this on his face? It might be a nice color. But, like, I don't know if you can see the difference here. This Fenty, she is, holy, oh my god. Oh my god, okay. And then last one is NYX. I think we do a swipe without the gloss and with the gloss so we can see, like, how much of the work is the gloss actually doing? Because maybe there's a world where we use one of the other products and then this gloss. Okay, so swipe. Swipe number one, no gloss. Swipe number two, with gloss. We'll let that dry though for a sec. Okay, Maracuja, you have eliminated yourself. <laughs> here we go. Okay, here is where we are at. At the beginning of the day, things just finishing their drying process. This Shine Loud color is really nice. This is, this is Global Citizen. Is that the name of this? I think so. I think this is the in the color Global Citizen. Wow, that Fenty one is crazy. See, I just feel like when you ever, whenever you use a matte lipstick, it just like highlights and defines every single little like crack in your lips. I don't know. Oh, upside down. The gag in this is that it's literally a little mini paintbrush. Painting on a layer of clear gloss to seal that bitch in. Ah, oh, see, I do feel like it's kind of sticky though. Okay. We're done. I'm gonna go eat lunch and we'll start our day and I'll check in with how we're doing. Okay, has everyone got the order? Are we aligned? We've got Charlotte Tilbury, no S, Patrick Ta, Fenty, Tarte Maracuja, NYX, no gloss, NYX with gloss. Onward with the day. Oh, I just had my first incident. Fenty. Oh, our girl, she has transferred to the bag. I went to go put something in the bag and I was like, oh, I was like, wait, that looks not the same anymore. And sure enough, there she is. Oh no, our first major smudge. Oh no. Oh no. 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 What are you scheming? I'm not asking me anything. What are you scheming? You know what? I'm not gonna do anything. It's, it was a stupid idea. I take, it, I take it back. What are you scheming? What are you scheming? What are you scheming? What are you scheming? You'll what never are know. You scheming? You'll never know. What are you scheming? In fact, I might even just postpone it till our 10th anniversary, just, just cause. <laughs> 
Okay, first hand wash. Do you see the beads of water sitting on the NYX one? Like lit NYX plus the gloss on top to seal it. That is just a beadlet of water sitting right on top. Oh my God. I didn't like scrub with soap on the back of my hand if I'm being totally honest. But who, if you're pissing on the back of your hands, we got bigger problems here. Anyways, one hand wash down. Here we go, off to go do some DIYs. Okay, just arrived in little Tokyo and man, the way that I get so genuinely excited when there is a motherfucking parking lot somewhere downtown. Oh my God, what a treat. Anyways. <laughs> meeting Kelsey here in a few minutes and so this place went viral because they do little jewelry boxes uh frames and phone cases where you basically this is very similar to the fake cakes that I DIY'd not that long ago using spackle so I'm not entirely sure what the texture if it's going to be I think easier than what I was doing in my version with the spackle but I think I'm going to do three frames like a set of frames in different color schemes potentially we'll see how much time I think we get two hours hours in our session but you can do a phone case and you get to like use all of like the DIY icing it's not actual icing it looks like icing and you pipe it the same way that you pipe icing and then they've got all the charms and so I'm gonna go in there and get a lay of the land first but I did spend a solid 30 minutes on their Instagram last night deciding what I wanted to do because my decision paralysis is quite debilitating and so I didn't want to waste time in the DIY studio making decisions man I can I cannot believe how crazy good the NYX Shine Loud is doing. I'm also wondering if I maybe applied too much of the Fenty product and that's why it's smudged because there was just too much of it. So I'm giving her the benefit of the doubt and I think that maybe it's worth another shot. Maracuja. She barely survived the car ride. We'll do another check-in after we DIY, like a close-up of the hand. And I'm so excited to make a cute little frame. Oh my God, I never come to this area. Again, just absolutely elated about the parking situation. Oh my God, look at all those chairs. This is the most Kelsey little- oh. <laughs> What are the odds you think they have like little vibrators? So cute, little vibrators, little vaginas. Right, that's the only thing we're missing. That's so you. Oh my God, there's little bobas. So many cinema rolls. Oh my God, this is like a little cookie. Little mushies. This rainbow cake. Oh, yay, yay, yay. <gasps> Thank you. <laughs> this little star Oh my God. Even though I prepared, the decision paralysis is still incredibly real. Okay, here are my picks. No one is surprised by any of it. I've got two shades of pink and a little frame. Oh my God, oh, but you're just guardian. I'm oh so God. locked in right now. Wait, it looks so good, what the fuck? I did, I did one cake decorating class and, and I think like, I'm good. I am for hire. I took my Adderall just for this. You wow. want me to decorate your wedding cake? That's okay, love okay. ya. Love ya. <laughs> Wow, the DIYs paid off. This is cute. And I look like your little like unhinged child that you're babysitting, <laughs> taking to. No, it looks so good. I'm trying to learn the ways of the lore. Of the lore, the DIY lore. I want the DIY oh, lore. Yeah. Okay, now I want to decorate. Wahoo. It's done. It's I'm so cute. Oh my God. Kelsey, we've, we've escalated. <laughs> We've severely escalated. <laughs> but how cute, right? <laughs> it looks great. Chaos like Look me. Look at all this sparkle. We love to see it. And now we've gone rogue onto the phone case. And if you, you put one more Q-tip in your mouth, I swear to fucking God. <laughs> you shouldn't have let me held on to frosting. Stop it. Don't. Okay, I'm supposed to leave her in this little box for five days to permanently dry. That seems like a little intense, five days, but so cute. So it is in fact a picture frame and you just slide a little photo in and, oh, hello. <laughs> Anyways, this is what it looks like. Final reveal. It's so cute. So many cute charms. The little cinema rolls. I can't. I'm dead. Hi, guys. It is the end of the day, and I wanted to do my final check-in with where we are at with my hand lip experiment. I've also got both pups. 
I've got one pup. <laughs> in snuggle mode right now. So the Pinku DIY studio was honestly so much fun. They also give you a little lesson if you've never worked with like a piping bag. Their mixture was made with something so much easier than what I used, which was joint compound or spackle mixed with some acrylic paint. This was like a glycerin and water and dye mix, she said. Anyways, it was so much easier and it was a lot of fun. I will say my frame, so the total cost of it for me for that frame was $50. I got the frame. I got to pick two colors, 15 of the main big charms, and then as many as you want of like the littler beads and charms. I do feel like just because I have such a big collection of kind of all of those things at my house, it did feel a little expensive. Plus there was no bathroom. So just a heads up before you go. And then Kelsey definitely got her money's worth. I think her cake little jewelry box was maybe only $20 or $30. And I mean, she was decorating for the full hour like she for sure sir 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 schemer schemer quiet on set schemer mr mr schemy mcsweenies schemy mcweenies have you guessed what you think it is there was a moment in time where I thought it was Leroy Sanchez potentially singing at our wedding which I would have loved but I don't think it is yeah so feel free to put your guesses into the comments down below of what the Fuck Jeremy's scheming, and we'll all find out soon enough. No, you're so lucky that I am such a trusting individual. Oh, you're such a trusting, chill girl. Yeah. You're so chill. Thank you. I don't know how cool it is, but you are the epitome of chill. Thank you so much. Schemy McWee! Kelsey really got her money's worth at Pinku and she was decorating her cake for like an hour, an hour and a half, maybe. Anyways, it was a really fun, cute activity. What? Oh, oh, hand, lips, hand, lips. Okay, let me see. Oh no, not a zoom, please. Now is not the time. Please, please, please. Hello? Can I help you? Oh, wow, go bounce. Who gotta go bounce? 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 Oh, go bounce, go bounce. Oh, oh, I knew it. I, I could feel the zoom festering. Wow, wow. Who? A double zoom? A double zoom? Is that it, Moose? Is that it for the zoom? Wow. 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 Wow! That was the biggest boy I've ever seen in my entire life! Are you a bunny rabbit? That was the biggest boy! Let's just close this. That is a direct contact butthole on the white couch. Wow! Uh, couch is filthy. All right, couch is a disaster right now. Everyone, this is white. <laughs> wow, Bubby, excellent zoom. Excellent zoom. Okay, so here's the state of my hand currently. Tart Maracuja, she is nowhere to be found. She has exited the conversation fully, which I feel like we knew, we knew we were getting into when we tried her. Even if I did happen to apply too much Fenty, just by the state of the edges of each swatch, oh my God. I will say the Patrick Ta, both of those, the Charlotte Tilbury, no S, Patrick Ta, and the NYX. Oh my God, the NYX. I cannot believe it. That shit has not move especially the one that had like the swipe of the clear on top also it is 9 p.m now so it has been seven and a half hours and many many hand washes later and one diy later as well too we can't forget her okay well i think we have our winner i definitely still want to do like a trial day where i do the combination that i would like to do on a regular day so to be like eating and drinking and also to like see how it feels on my lips and do like some smooches and see if it transfers what the fuck are you talking about I'm talking about not putting lip products on your face. This has been on my hand for seven and a half hours. Why? So that I don't get smooch on your face. My face? Yes. Oh, at the wedding? At the wedding. Oh, that's fucking adorable. I'm testing. Because you're gonna be kissing me so much? <laughs> yeah, and I don't wanna put smooch on you. Permanent smooch mark. So it'll, it'll last through the consummation? Through the consummation, all the way through the consummation. I really do want to give Fenty a try on my actual lips because I have a feeling it's going to be much more moisturizing. So anyways, we'll still do a test run day on the actual lips, eating and drinking and see how they fare. But yeah. The, the too? We could practice the consummation, but what we really should be practicing is our dance. Uh, I'm sorry, I have a, a, an untold conflict that just came up. 
Hmm. Well, that's all I have for the vlog for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Diggo just tooted. That's my kid go. Subscribe to my vlog channel and I'll be picking up wherever she needs off. So what are you vlogging about? Um, we need to know. Jeremy's tech closet. Okay. Bye. Bye. Also, I want to be clear that, that was not a gay joke. He's literally in this tech closet right here. What? Gay joke? <laughs> Babe, I'm in the closet. <laughs>